Over the years, Pokemon has released pre-order bonuses for pretty much every single one of their games, and I'm just going to say it straight here, they have been getting worse and worse over the years. They were strong. The pre-order bonuses from like the early days of Pokemon were just so cool and so amazing and those items are extremely collectible and pretty expensive to buy now. Compared to most of the modern pre-order bonuses being pretty like lackluster, they're not that good. There definitely are exceptions, but it's kind of complicated now because every single country and region around the world has just different pre-order bonuses. Also, I'm doing a giveaway at 12,000 subscribers for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card, so all you have to do to enter that giveaway is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and then comment down below letting me know you want to be in the giveaway, and then when I hit 12k, I'll be announcing the winner. And I also feel like the United States or North America has just had the lowest, like the bottom of the bar, pre-order bonuses in the last couple of years. So when I was a kid and I bought a Pokemon game, I honestly never pre-ordered any games as a kid. I just didn't care. I knew it was a thing, and for some reason, little five-year-old me just did not care at all. So I never had the cool, like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Pokemon Black and White, or, you know, Diamond and Pearl, whatever, pre-order bonuses, because I never pre-ordered them. I would honestly just wait as a kid, and I bought them pre-owned. Which is a little unfortunate, because, you know, me, you know, 15, 20 years later... Now, I kind of wish I would have pre-ordered them. But now I have pre-ordered Pokemon games, like the, the last couple years I pre-ordered. And the only good one that I can remember was Legends Arceus. I actually got the Arceus plush, which, you know, I think is a pretty good pre-order bonus. Even though I'm pretty sure you're able to buy the same plush on their website like a couple months after. So that kind of was like, oh, what's the point? But anyways, let's just start off with... Pokemon Gold and Silver, and I think these might be the first ever pre-order bonus available for a Pokemon game. Honestly, these ones aren't that cool. The This is their first year. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it's the first year, so it's it's kind of, they're kind of, you know, meh. So in the EU, Europeans, they got the like a preview CD. US also got a different preview CD, and the US also got a sweepstakes postcard, which is, you know, those are all kind of neat, but they're not, compared to what I'm gonna, what I'm about to bring up next, those are not cool. Ruby and Sapphire, I think this may be one of the coolest ones. The US got these insanely cool commemorative coins, like tokens in these little, you know, cardboard, hard cardboard little containers. I don't know what to call that. And I'm pretty sure that these are actually worth a ton of money if you have them complete in box like that. I think these are super cool looking. I wish I had them. The UK also got a preview CD. Fire Red and Leaf Green actually had a pretty cool one. So in the US and Canada, you were able to get a ginormous shoulder bag. Like this is this has gotta be the biggest pre-order bonus ever given to any Pokemon game. And I'm pretty sure you could also get like a trainer's guide, which is that's just so cool. The bag is huge. I've never actually seen one of these before doing the research before this video. I just think that this is really cool, and I think you were able to get the trainer's guide in the uk if you pre-ordered through game stores pokemon emerald has a really unique one too so they had a rayquaza tin with a ton of stuff so you would get the tin you had a special access code to the pokemon emerald vip website and a frontier battle pass booklet that is just so cool i think this has got to be like one of the coolest pre-order bonuses because this to me seems like something that you would get if you're actually in a pokemon game like hey you're a new trainer in this generation in this region here's a here's a little booklet here's a little you know here's a little uh thing to give you some backstage behind the scenes as to what it is to be a pokemon trainer i think this is so cool i just looked the price of this one up because i was kind of curious it seems like they're selling for like 60 70 ish dollars i guess depending on like condition and if you have all this all the accessories and everything so diamond and pearl actually had quite a few it seems like they kind of were up in their game with the pre-order bonuses so if you pre-ordered diamond or pearl in gamestop or eb games in the us you received a stylus which had one of the you know legendary pokemon on the top which is really cool and i swear i had one of these as a kid i don't i don't have it anymore but i i think i did i'm not 100 percent sure on that one as well as a blue stylus holder which has the starter pokemon on it which i think is a pretty cool little accessory and also if you pre-ordered it on the pokemon center website you got a pin featuring one of the two legendary pokemon that actually connect with each other if you bought both that's so cool to me i think that's just creative i think in my opinion it's like the creative unique things that make it really worth it are what's so cool about this 
and the Pokemon Platinum Pre-Order Bonus is probably one of the coolest ones here. I think the statues are cool, and that's exactly what Pokemon Platinum got. I think that this might be the first statue pre-order bonus. I have... As a kid, I bought Platinum. Luckily, that was a great choice because that's the one that's worth a lot of money. The Giratina statue is really cool. And then Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you got a statue of Ho-Oh, Lugia, or Arceus, which I think are really cool. And these statues, too, were, like, better quality than the ones that were released later on. And I think I would love to have a full collection of these. And these also, I believe, came in like a little box. I don't have a picture of the box, but someone I knew said they came in a box, which I think is pretty cool. Black and White had a pretty good amount of pre-order bonuses, but I feel like after this is kind of when they slowly started going downhill a little bit because this introduced a lot of like the the digital download pre-order bonuses. Like a lot of these places could download Celebi if you pre-ordered with them. And then there were some kind of cool ones, like apparently in Australia, this seems like the coolest one. You got the character kit, which had a cleaning cloth, game cartridge holders for your DS games, a DS case, and three styluses based around the three Unova starter Pokemon. And if you pre-ordered at Game Traders, which I think is probably in Australia, assuming, you got a Pikachu plush. Like, that's pretty cool. In the US, apparently you got like a, like a wall cling, you know. The, these pre-order bonuses were kind of mid. Black and White 2, I think, stepped their game up a little bit. This is when they started introducing, like, the posters, I think. You got a Caldeo poster. But there were also two different coins based on, like, what game you got, which I think the coins are really cool. And there was also a DS sleeve, which I think is pretty neat as well. The physical collectible stuff to me is the coolest, such as, like, the statues or the coins or even the cases or, like, the tin. Like, that Rayquaza tin was awesome. X and Y pre-order bonuses were pretty bad except if you were in the UK and Australia. I'm pretty sure that those are the only places you could get this. The UK and Australia had a little Pokeball that you can hold, th I think, three DS or 3DS games. That is so cool. I think this is like such a neat and unique creator bonus. And it's like, why would you only put this out in Australia or the UK? Otherwise, in the United States, you'd get like a pen. Oh, woohoo. Otherwise, if you were in the United States, I'm pretty sure you literally just got a poster. Just a poster, and you'll start seeing some trends because the posters took over Pokemon pre-order bonuses, pretty much. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire did have two statues for the United States in the PAL region, which I think is cool. The statues are great. Let the statues stay, but apparently... But they also gave you posters and just like an art book or like a little keychain, and apparently a Mega Charizard plush if you pre-order through toys r us in the us which i didn't know about and i think that's a pretty good one sun and moon honestly didn't have a terrible pre-order bonus situation so in the us and pal regions you did get statues but they kind of look a little cheaper they kind of look a little more plasticky but i don't know i don't have one so who knows and you're also able to get pins which the pins are really cool they have a little box around them nice pin you could also get a snorlax promo card and once again a poster but as, but at least in this scenario, there were other options for you. There were other things that you could actually get besides just a stupid poster or just one thing. Like you had statues, there were pins, a card, and then Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon actually had a ton of pre-order bonuses. So many that this website literally has a list over pictures because there are just so many. But a lot of them are just random. I believe in the US there was a little figure that you could get. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... They were just a whole bunch for Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. Let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee. Pretty much the same thing. And I feel like nowadays, like ever since Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, they just give out a ginormous amount of different pre-order bonuses for every single like country. So now it's just pretty much based on whatever country you are. I mean, it always has been, but I think it's more extreme now. Like here's a screenshot of every single pre-order bonus for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Like there's different pre-order bonuses if you ordered on Japan's Amazon website or the this random obscure website here, this random obscure website there, it's just so random that it's like, why? Why not just give us, hey, if you're in the US, you get a statue. If you're in Japan, you get a pin. Or best case scenario for the Pokemon fans, just give us, give us every pre-order bonus in every single country. Because if you really want to complete all the pre-order bonuses, like if you're collecting them, like if you're collecting them, it's a very tedious job now and sword and shield um i'm pretty sure only had like a steelbook collector's edition pre-order bonus as well as like a little little gallery region 
poster thing. Pretty lackluster here. Nothing really cool. Scarlet and Violet, I'm trying to remember. I don't think I got anything. I don't think I pre-ordered this game because there, the pre-order bonuses were so bad. So I think I literally just wanted to buy it day one at Target because every time I've pre-ordered a game, it either gets canceled or it arrives like three weeks late. So I usually don't even bother. But sometimes if you're lucky enough and you go to the store, they'll actually just give you the pre-order bonus there. Like with Pokemon Snap, I bought that at Target day one release and they gave me the little like picture frame pre-order bonus. Same thing with Splatoon 3. That's not Pokemon, of course. But when I bought that day one at Target, they gave me a pair of sunglasses that had a Splatoon 3 on them, which is pretty cool. But the exact same thing goes with Scarlet and Violet. They just have so many on these random, obscure websites. Mostly, it seems like mostly in Japan, honestly. But there are just so many random things like a bowl, a melamine bowl, cases, a food tray, a badge, a deck case, a, a themed bag. That's, that's actually kind of cool. A purple mug. Like, just random stuff that it's like, why not just sell this as regular Pokemon merchandise over giving us these stupid random pokemon pre-order bonuses that no one truly cares about you know like take it back to around the era of heart gold silk silver or like diamond and pearl where you would get these physical things or even like ruby and sapphire where it's like a coin like these cool commemorative collectible things that you can only get as a pre-order bonus that makes it fun and exciting and really worth i mean i know that there are a lot of good modern day pre-order bonuses for some pokemon games but overall as a whole they just aren't like they used to they just have gone downhill and they're just not as cool or really worth it anymore and i don't know if they're ever going to go back to that really amazing point of the early 2000s pre-order bonuses but hope you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time